Two to go, 12. Prince Nassim in the uh, gaudy shorts, if you needed the identification. There he is diving in. Perez has seen just about everything on his travels around the world, his world championship fights. He's fought nine world champions, but I don't suppose he's ever seen anything quite like Hamed before. Will we see pressure tactics from Juan Polo Perez? That's what he says he's going to do, trying to put Prince Nassim under pressure, but there's that confident, almost arrogant look on the face of the Yorkshire Yemeni. And already Hamid getting through with shots from, from all sorts of difficult angles. He punches when he appears off balance. Go to hit him, and he's not there. Tremendous reflexes, reminiscent really of an early Harold Graham, who of course is from the same Brendan Ingalls stable. Once again, he's taunting his man with it almost looks like a form of limbo dancing, but then he comes in with these fast punches from crazy angles. Is a very, very experienced fighter. But he has lost his last two fights. This is his third fight in ten weeks, Perez. Is the ambition still there? Is the fire still burning for him? We'll find out, I think, tonight. He's only had one first round win, Prince Nassim. The second round is his favorite for getting the job done. It really would be the most terrible, sensational upset if all the big plans for Prince Nassim were to be derailed here. You've seen that kind of thing happen before, mind you. Nothing's for certain. Clever little short left hook, Nassim. And Perez trying to work it all out. 6,000 capacity. Mickey Van lets the action begin. This is the round, the second, in which Prince Nassim has finished off six of his 18 victims. Including the last one, Enrique Angeles, you might remember. Usually takes a round just to. Have a look at what's in front of him. Short little right is a clever punch again from Hamid. Starting to get through. This man may take more stopping than most. He has not been stopped since September of 1992. Polo Perez. He looks lively, he keeps moving the head well, got a nice rhythm, Perez. You don't hang around that long at the top without having a few survival instincts. That's right, and if you look at his face, he's, he's very unmarked. He's finding it hard, though, to lay a glove on the hand. It's like punching at shadows, the crowd warming to his defensive antics. But one time, somewhere along the line, you get the feeling Somebody is going to connect like that left hand from Nassim. Perez is down in round two. I'll tell you what, this fellow is a puncher. He's up with a count at about eight. Hamed really leapt in with that shot. Is he on his way to yet another quick win? Perez is in desperate trouble again. Down he goes. Get up, says Hamed. I think he was saying, I didn't hit you that time. 
Perez is gasping for air. Is he going to get up or is this another second round win? It is. He's done it again. Another somersault, another victory. And the march towards a world championship fight, which surely now is an inevitability, goes on. That man had been stopped twice in 13 years. What have you got to say about that? You know, I've told you before, Gary, when I hit them, I'm not making a song and dance about it, but believe, they just can't take the punishment, they can't take the power. The power is extraordinary, and I'll keep saying extraordinary. It's, I'm blessed from God, what can I say? It's a gift. Took us through your punches. That was a straight right, and it caught him. After that, I, I think it really caught him, and it hurt him bad. But saying that, it could have carried on, and he, just, he meant to go down there. I don't know what happened to him. He was probably still hurt from the first one. Yeah, he was really hurt from the first one, but to tell you the truth, I didn't, that went even 50. That went even 50 percent of my power there. He didn't really. He didn't even take a proper shot. Look, I'm calling him up here, saying, "Get up! You got to take some more, boy." I ain't shouting my mouth off anymore. I'm, I'm the best, and everybody knows it. I think of your division, though. You've got some good champions to beat: Barreras, Hector Acero, Sanchez. Do you fear any of them? Most definitely, I fear none of them. Basically, when I fight them, they're going to get beat, just like the rest, and in style. Early nights all the way. I ain't going for long 12 rounds, make it boring. People like to want excitement, people want to be entertained. I'm an entertainer and a banger and a champion too. I'm not bragging anything, but I'm too.